just saw our first guest at the mailbox wall, and now he is joining us to tell us all about his new film, Matching Hearts, which is part of Hallmark Channel's Love Ever After programming event. Please welcome back to our home, our friend, our family, really, Mr. Ryan Page. Definitely, definitely family, definitely family. What's up, man? Good to see you. Likewise. 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 Welcome. The people love you, Ryan, as you yeah. just saw <laughs> from that card. They just love yeah, you. Yeah, they write nice stuff. It makes me feel good. Well, it should. Yeah. We can't get enough of you. So let's talk about this movie. You play Daniel. I do. You are a single businessman who mm -hmm. owns an adoption center, and you're getting all these lovely animals adopted, these dogs adopted. Meanwhile, you're sort of um, introduced to a matchmaking recruiter, and she's going to help you find your forever home as well, isn't yes, she? Is. <laughs> How does that she work is. out? <laughs> um, uh, so I, I kind of get dubbed Mr. Stay Single in this one here, because um, my character, Daniel, delivers a little bit of advice to young entrepreneurs that if you want your business to thrive, you should focus on your business, which might mean that certain aspects of your personal life kind of get put on the back burner. Okay. Your focus should be on your business. Meanwhile, the lovely Taylor Cole plays the head of a, of a matchmaking service, Julia. And wouldn't it be great if this service could get Mr. Stay Single, not single? So, you know, some hilarity ensues, and there's lots of puppies and kittens, and I dance. And oh, oh, I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot to love about this <laughs> film. And we've been talking about this movie for a, a while time, now. Yeah. So this is very exciting, because right here, right now, we've got a little sneak peek at the film. So everybody take a look at this. Sometimes it's hard to bear the weight. Matchmaking is not quite my speed. In case you need a little help, you have my card. So I choose you. Yeah, I choose you. So you came tonight. Oh, I came for you. Matching parts. Part of Love Ever After, only on Hallmark Channel. There it is. It is <laughs> part of Love Ever After. Now, oh my gosh, uh, that, that, line. that sort of like, you I know, tug you. at our heartstrings. And not only that, the two bit. of you together, visually, the two of them together, Beautiful. pretty spectacular. It looks fantastic. Now, here's the thing. Uh, not only does he look a lot like Daniel, That's right. uh, he's got other similarities <laughs> with Daniel as well. And one of them is the fact that you love animals. You love uh, dogs do, in particular. Do, in fact, here's the thing, everybody. We all know Ryan as to being like a pretty macho dude. Yes. <laughs> you know, we're just talking about like all sorts of stuff that he does that not nor like most men just kind of don't right. even do. He does it. But he also launches into full-blown baby talk oh, whenever there's a cute little dog around. So there's this macho TV, guy, yeah. full-blown baby yeah. talk. That is the truth. Uh, in fact, we found an example on social media. So let's pull up the photo. Ready so this, this photo there was posted on social media. And the caption, if you can't read it right there, it says this. This is William, and he was the goodest doggo today. Would give much treatos and no bamboozles. Hashtag cargo. cargo hashtag goodest boy. Hashtag treatos. <laughs> Only I'm a dogs little, understand that. Is that oh, is that yeah, what no, it is? I totally understand it. That's what it is. Totally Help understand. me out, man. Help me out. What's going so, on So, William was definitely the goodest doggo that day. And 12 of 10 would give much treatos, but no bamboozles. Oh, He my. was like the best. So, no, I just, I love him. And I would, that just basically means I want to give him snacks and not, you know, uh, where is William? I miss William. You're really lovable. That's <laughs> true, Ryan. Not only do you become sort of verbally impaired. <laughs> when you're Thank you. Is, am I wrong to say? That's, when you're that's around perfect. dogs. Also, enhancement. Yeah, Thank you very well, much. there you go. You're verbally enhanced. You also become a little physically impaired or enhanced, oh, yeah. whatever way you like to, to look at it. Yeah, gravity. And the reason we do know this is because you hosted a summer special mm. over the summer. It was our oh, summer yeah. night's preview special, oh, as yeah. we see right there with our very own Larissa. And while Larissa has some secret footage that she let us look at earlier today. I think today. I know Take what a this look is this. I don't think I can move. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but he said, I can't actually move. He paralyzed yeah, with paralyzed. love for the puppy. Just love it. Okay, anybody who owns a dog or a cat or anything like knows that if your cat falls asleep on you, your dog falls, oh. that's it. That's how you die. You never move again. It's that's true. it. You gotta go to the bathroom, that's too bad. You're it's, just gonna stay. If somebody doesn't bring you food, you're in trouble. You're gonna starve. Exactly. That's what happens. Well, hopefully you don't get too hungry um, during this interview because no. we would like to help you out with this problem or this maybe not so much of a problem, oh, as you say. And Larissa has been so kind to have her dog Muppet Come out and sit with you. If Paige could bring, please bring Muppet out. We'd like Thank to see you, Paige. if Paige. Oh my goodness! You can Thank actually, you so much. There you go. It's so good. And hi, Ryan. It's so good to see you. That's oh my, my puppy. Goodness. Oh my Look at this goodness. face. Okay, you're in good hands. It's Bye the now. Cutest Thank little. you, Paige. And we'd like to see if you could possibly finish the interview. You doing okay? And without yeah. being paralyzed or doing the dog is the, talk. Is the voice? Can I do the whole? I can't do it without the oh, dog talk. Do, I do the whole thing like this. Oh my goodness! Look at this little though. 
It's uh, this is the cute. It's the cutest. This is the best little. Look at his face. It's my favorite kind of face. I don't really know how to continue the interview at this point. Congratulations. Like, do we all have to do baby talking. Congratulations on your face. Listen. <laughs> You're uh, congratulations super sweet. On your face. Congratulations. I mean, Muppet really does deserve a on congratulations your on your face. Um, we got to also talk about the fact. So that's one side of Ryan that we appreciate. Another side is the fact that you call yourself a hopeless romantic, um, which is just making women around the world even more in love with you. Tell us why you consider yourself uh, a hopeless romantic, man. Um, well, I mean, I, I think I'm a lot like like Daniel in this one, in that I I am a firm believer in serendipity. Okay. You know, like I think it, there's somebody out there for everybody. There's a, there's a match. There's something mm -hmm. out there for you. You just have to hold out until it happens. That's right. You know? Do you say congratulations on your face to to women too? No, like, that, that would be odd. That's a good line. I mean, you no, should that's use a good that. one. Congratulations uh, on what? On your, your on face. your face. Congratulations oh, on your face. You. I mean, that I don't think I've ever said that. I've never heard that. But I like it's it. It's a first. I really first. like oh it. Oh, my God. You know, something else you're madly in love with is adventure. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you share so much of that adventure with all of your fans and us, and we appreciate that on all of your social media pages. As a matter of fact, just recently, over the summer, you were in Hawaii. Yeah. And you went skydiving. And it was amazing. But I found it interesting that you were comparing your skydiving to your motorcycle riding. How oh, yeah. is that even possible? That does not look Man. like riding motorcycle. You me. are oh, yeah. up there in that photo. That That's is beautiful. not like from 5,000 feet right there. That's what from 14,000 That's what I'm feet. talking about. Wow. Um, which is above the cloud level. And I have to go nerd for a second. So to, to connect skydiving and, and motorcycling. Okay. So there's a thing um, in skydiving called terminal velocity. And that's, you don't accelerate for forever. Otherwise, if you fell from high enough, you'd go to light speed and you'd like evaporate and explode. So there's a point to which you stop accelerating and you're just kind of moving at a constant speed. So I think it's about 127 miles an hour, something like that. Wow. Depending on the friction um, and everything. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's basically, it's the balance between re wind resistance pushing you yep. up and gravity pulling you down. Exactly. Speed is slightly different. Obviously, if you're six feet wide, you'll fall a little bit slower. But if you're super tiny, you might fall really fast. I don't know. But there's a balance point there. So motorcycles. I love motorcycles. I like really, really fast motorcycles. Um, like that one. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. That was crazy. I can't wait. She goes to the tuner on Saturday. I'm going to hear her again. That's your love. That's who you're... Oh, yeah. Yeah, right now, match that's my heaven. that's my match right now. Um, but motorcycles, I like to take... I like to go out into the desert in the middle of nowhere and go really, really, really fast. And so I've experienced that feeling of going really fast this way. But skydiving was the first time I did it this way. She doesn't like skydiving. It's okay. I will not jump out of an airplane. She's worried about your safety, I think. You know, that's all. She cares about you. I have I have some Tritos, I think, if I could get them. Tritos? Yeah. Okay. I think. So um, that's how it was. That's how you you kind of compare the two. One's yeah. flying this way, one's flying it that felt, way. Although, jumping out of an airplane, there was two things there. Number one, um, even in Hawaii, the clouds are made of ice. So when you fall through them, you feel it on your face. Well, 14,000 feet, that's, that's, what, that's where it's right. yeah. cold up sure. there. Um, and the other thing is there's rainbows in that shot. I don't know yeah. if you saw. Yeah, let's pull it up. Rainbows yeah. are full circles from above. Wow. It's not an arc. It's Beautiful. a full circle from above, and there were two. So there's a Mario Kart reference here. Rainbow Road went through the rainbows. It was great. <laughs> that is sensory overload. I would I only imagine. That. Only imagine. Oh my gosh! We just did skydiving, motorcycle ri racing, or riding, and also video games. And, and puppas. And baby oh puppies. my goodness! That is adorable. Honestly, I don't think there's anything more we could possibly love about. Same you, guy. Right? Baby Same talk guy. with dogs, jumping on airplanes. That's pretty impressive. Matching hearts <laughs> premiere Saturday, February eighth at nine p.m. eight central, right here on Hallmark. Oh Channel. man! All right.